So. Oops. Wow, the effects are still there. <laughs> uh, so you all know what this is? Silkworm. Silkworm cocoon. Mm -hmm. The worm is still inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously it's not alive. Because mm -hmm. the first question I always get is, is it still alive? No, it's not. <laughs> uh, but I'm not responsible for its death. I just want to know that. <laughs> um, does anybody, can anybody tell me why we, do, we don't want the worms to still be alive? In other words, we don't want them to complete the met, that metamorphosis? Because they'll be butterflies. Excuse me? Maybe butterflies. <laughs> Maybe butterflies. <laughs> they, they would be baby butterflies. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that's, that's a caterpillar. Uh. <laughs> the caterpillar turns into a butterfly. This is a silk worm, which turns into the silk moth, uh. which is in the same family as the butterfly, so yeah. you're all right there. <laughs> but the reason why we don't want it to come out is because if it were to complete its normal metamorphosis, it would release an acidic kind of saliva or a substance which burns a hole from the inside, uh. and that burned, and through that hole it would crawl out naturally. But that hole is what we don't want, because we don't want the... Uh, we don't want to be able to break the continuity of the thread of silk that we can obtain from each individual cocoon because that hole will then break. It will not allow us to obtain that about one and a half kilometers of silk thread from each individual cocoon. Jeez. Okay, now this is not an exaggeration, but as you can see in a dry stage, okay, you see these threads here? In a dry stage, the threads just snap and break off. Okay, so we cannot get that length. So that's why we leave them in water for about two hours. In the morning so well these have been in here all, all day now um, and what the water does is it softens the fibers and make them more makes them more flexible so they don't break as easy and then with the help of this very high-tech piece of equipment right here we just literally <laughs> tap on the cocoons and the bristles of the brush will be caught by um, the bristle of the brush will catch the ends and this will give us our starting point so when she lifts her arm you'll actually see the threads being caught by the bristles can you see that wow. Okay, so now this is, going, this is going to give us our starting point. So each individual thread is coming off an individual cocoon. So we now wrap that around the wheel and then attach it to the yarn. And then by spinning it, we're literally going to be pulling the silk off the cocoon. It's like pulling on a ball of wool. It will start to unravel and eventually there'd be hardly anything left. Come on, sit down with it. Okay, so now when we start spinning the wheel, okay, if you can see down over here, if I grab one of these, to just hold it in my hand. Well, somebody's hand or anybody's hand. I'm just going to place this in it gets lots of snaps, right? I'm just going to place it in the next field. You feel it? It's, that's not because the worm is alive. <laughs> it's okay, you can throw it back in. It's being unraveled, so it's being pulled on. Okay, so that's what, can you understand what I'm saying? It's being pulled on. So from each cocoon, like I said, we can obtain about one and a half miles of thread from each individual cocoon. Okay, come to the listen. And it will eventually come to a stage where, I'm trying to find one right now, where, here, there we go, where there's hardly any silk left on this cocoon. So you can actually see the worm inside. This was once obviously like this. Okay, so if I were to break this. <laughs> obviously it's all shriveled up, but there, but there you go. Okay, we give them to the chickens so they don't go to waste. All right, now this is, if I were to ask you how you would describe in one word, what silk feels like, what would you say? Soft. Soft. Smooth. Soft. Smooth. 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 So, silky? Strong. <laughs> Strong. Strong. That's, th that was very creative. <laughs> okay, now, what does this feel like? Rough. Want to pass that around? Silk, in its raw stage, will always have a very coarse feel. And the reason for that is because attached to these threads is a very fine microscopic layer of resin. It's a kind of glue. That's what enables the fibers to stick to one another. So that glue is still on that raw silk. That's what's causing that coarseness. So what we do is we get rid of it, and we do that by throwing raw silk into some more water and boiling it with natural soap. And that natural soap extracts the resin and leaves the silk with no attachments whatsoever. And only once that attachment, once that resin has been 
taken away or extracted, we then obtain the softness. So this and this are both exactly the same thing. This has been washed and this has been unwashed. So this is still in its raw stage. And of course that's been dyed as well. So, but there's a huge difference. So now it will start to feel 